some people get it right, but oftentimes they, they get it wrong, particularly when we think about drugs in which the society has limited experience. When that's the case, uh, when a new drug, or typically these drugs aren't new, I should say, when a new route of administration, new form of the drug is introduced to a society, uh, uh, the portrayal of that drug, that drug is often exaggerated uh, to the extent that uh, it, it's, it's inaccurate. Um, that's, that typically happens, but when you think of a drug that's more common, like alcohol, the betrayal uh, of alcohol is, tends, tends to be more accurate because many folks have experience using alcohol, so it's difficult to uh, be inaccurate in your description or, or you lose some credibility. Whereas when you think of a drug like methamphetamine, for example, that's a current sort of new form uh, of, of, of the amphetamines that people have uh, talked quite a bit about in the, in the general public recently. When you think of that drug, the portrayal of uh, the effects of that drug has been so exaggerated that they're often inaccurate. When you associate, typically when you associate um, um, drugs with a specific group, uh, you may be doing it for a purpose, uh, uh, but clearly uh, you are limiting the scope of the users. or um, uh, the example that you gave regarding the wire, um, and I think the primary drug that they talk about on the wire is cocaine. Um, uh, but of course, uh, cocaine use is broad, in, in, uh, well, in terms of the demographics of cocaine use in the United States. Um, uh, many groups use cocaine, not just poor and impoverished people. Um, there are folks um, here in New York on Wall Street, as we uh, have heard, uh, use cocaine. Um, there are uh, other places where uh, people in Hollywood um, use cocaine. So uh, to focus exclusively on this narrow sort of subset of user is, um, is limiting, uh, of course. Nicotine couple milligrams is enough to kill you if it's just pure nicotine. So that's really dangerous. But people still have figured out how to use the drug safely. And, and so when we talk about dangers, we have to, we have to, be, we have to be clear about what we're talking about. Um, so when we think about dangerous uh, alcohol withdrawal, people can die from alcohol withdrawal. If folks have been abusing alcohol for extended periods of time, then they go through withdrawal, they could actually die. But in the movies, we oftentimes see heroin withdrawal being portrayed as being excruciating, agonizing pain. People don't die from heroin withdrawal. Um, so in terms of danger, um, um, you can see that alcohol potential is potentially fatal. That's dangerous. Now, there are, if you take, for example, high, high doses of amphetamines, we know from laboratory animal studies that you can uh, potentially cause some neurotoxicity, that is, kill brain cells. We've, we've seen that sort of thing, but people don't typically do those kinds of doses, but what we're talking about is just danger. Mm -hmm.